Palomino and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. He's not in. Well, at least Lon Williams didn't win his badge by warming a chair. Maybe he left a note saying when he'll be back. Well, let's go on, Roy. We're still a long way from Mineral City, and Pat and I have to get back to the cafe. Then yeah, we've never met the new sheriff of Carson County, and knowing him might come in handy sometime. Well, I guess you're right. If you can learn mind reading from that thing, I'll eat it for breakfast. Uh, oh, go ahead and laugh. But this here is a science. Mm, only people with a special kind of talent can do it. Meaning you, I suppose. Well, to tell you the truth, I got it from a ma. <laughs> she used to be able to tell what I was thinking before I thunk it. <laughs> hello. Well, hello. Hi. Are you the sheriff's little girl? No, ma'am. I'm Janie Howard. You don't have to ask her what she's doing here. I can read her mind like an open book. She's lost. How can I be lost as long as I've got hold of the Lord's hand? Out of the mouths of babes comes wisdom. It's my horse that's lost. Have you maybe seen a ginger horse? A ginger horse? Yes, sir. He's just the color of ginger. Like his name, he isn't much to look at. But he's awful nice. I'm sure he is, honey. How did this ginger horse get lost? A man stole him. Somebody shot off a gun. And then a man ran out of the trees, jumped on my horse, and rode off. It's an awful long way into town, but I thought I'd better tell the sheriff. I can read her mind as plain as day. She thinks you're the sheriff. No, sir. He isn't Mr. Williams. This is Roy Rogers, Janie, and I'm Dale Evans. And I'm Pat Brady, but you can call me Pat. Janie... This fellow that stole your horse, what did he look like? He was so far away. I didn't see him very good. But he was big. Big as my daddy. Where was the shot fired from, honey? Like I said, in the trees. I'll show you if you want. Daddy and I live near there. Not in the big ranch house. We live in the little one. I think we better see what this is all about. Mm. with a H bar E. Looks like he fell and broke his leg and his rider shot him. Certainly was in a hurry to get somewhere fast. That's probably why he stole Janie's horse. Dale, you better go back to Janie's house. Look around there. I'll look some more here and join you later. Right, Roy. Come on, Bullet. Jim? Partner? I never saw him before in my life. He's right. I just got here. Which makes it mighty convenient for me. Just hand over that money. I'll take those pretty guns of yours, too. Well, at least you could let me introduce myself. I'm Roy Rogers. Rogers? Yes. You can call the United States Marshal at Mineral City. He'll establish my identity. So what? You ain't the first lawman that's gone wrong. Besides, this money was stolen from Mr. Early here. And for all I know, you're in cahoots with Jim Howard. Howard? Are you Janie's father? Why, how did you know? I met her in town this morning. She told me someone had stolen her horse. And the fellow who took it shot the horse he was riding after it broke its leg. And that horse was branded with an H-bar E. What? That's mine. 
That's the horse I reported stolen, Sheriff. We'll take care of that later. Right now, I'm taking these two into town. You better come along, Horace, and sign a complaint. Hey, this is ridiculous. You know I didn't take that money. Get your hat and coat. that picture of you and Ginger. I didn't hear you come in, Roy. Neither did I, and I got ears like a cougar. Did you find Ginger, Mr. Rogers? No, but we're on his trail. Listen, Jenny, you don't happen to have some coffee out in the kitchen, do you? It's cold, but I'll warm it up for you. Fine, that's all right. I'm on the Dodge. What? Huh? Yes, I found some stolen money in an old line shack just as the sheriff came in. He was taking me and another fellow to town, and I give him the slip. It's lucky I have an extra pair of guns in my saddlebags. Well, didn't you tell him who you were? Yes, but it sure didn't impress the sheriff any. Who was the other fellow, Roy? Well, that's just it. Jim Howard, Janie's father. Oh, no. The poor kid. What'd he do it for? I don't know. I'm not sure that he did. The money belonged to a man named Horace Early. It was his horse that we found shot. He claimed it had been stolen. How are we going to tell Janie? We're not until we're sure. I'll admit it looks bad for Jim Howard, but it looks even worse for me. If you ain't careful, Roy, you're going to find yourself in a who's got for you can say Peter Piper peck to peck, peck to pie, peck po, uh, any way for you can say it. Hey, Dale. What is it? This page in the Bible. Look, it's been read so many times you can close the book and open right up to it again. Hey, look at this verse underlined. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Here's your coffee, Mr. Rogers. Well, thanks, Jeannie. Daddy reads that verse in the Bible every day. He's read it so much I know it by heart. So do I, but I have a hard time following it. If a man cusses me, I'm liable to cuss him right back. And if he persecutes me, I'll bounce him right on the beezer. Daddy says if you do that, you're just as wrong as the other man. And two wrongs can't ever put things right. Your daddy said that? Yes, sir. He said we should love our enemies and do good to them so we can show them the right way to act. Roy, if he believes that. I know, Dale. But as Pat said, sometimes it's hard to live up to. Janie, whose house is that I passed down the road, the big one? That's Mr. Early's house. Early? We used to live over there, but Mommy got sick and died. And Daddy lost his share of the ranch. That's when we moved over here. Janie, will you excuse us? Where are you going, Mr. Rogers? We're going to find a ginger horse. Dale, you and Pat go back to town and see if you can find out why Jim Howard lost his share of the ranch. I'll see if I can pick up the trail of Janie's horse. I'd like to go along with you, Roy. You can't. Somebody might see you with me. And I am a wanted man. Well, I guess I can be a wanted man just as well as you. Besides, I want to know what's so important about that ginger horse. Never argue with a woman, Roy, unless you get a half a mile running start. Did you see any sign of Ginger? I picked up his tracks and he headed straight to Horace Early's place. Then Howard must have stolen the money after he took Janie's horse. If it was Howard. Listen, Dale, you stay here and keep out of sight. If trouble starts, head for cover. Right. Bullet, stay with her. You wait here, Trigger. I didn't want to sign that complaint, Lon. I can't believe that Jim did it. I've known him for years. He claims some fella phoned him and said you wanted to see him up at the line shack. Now, why would I want to meet him in a place like that? I'd go over to his place or he could come here. You didn't say you did. That's Jim's story. 
Claims he got there and waited till he got hungry, and he found some coffee in an old can, and he took a bucket and went out to the stream for water, and that's where we nabbed him. Yeah, I still don't know why he wanted to steal the money. If he needed it, all he had to do was ask me. Well, maybe he thought you'd turn him down. <laughs> Sheriff. Looks like he's taking cover. Keep your eyes peeled, Horace. You be ready to run when I give you the word. Roy, you can't shoot the law. No, but maybe I can scare him off with a few wild shots. Reloading. Got it. Careful. You may be playing possum. We've been tricked. You know, I'm beginning to believe he really is Roy Rogers. Trigger hit out. What'd you tell Jeannie about her father? Just that he was detained in town. But she isn't worried. She says the Lord will keep an eye on him. Have faith, hope, and charity. That's the way to live successfully. How do I know? The Bible tells me so. Do good to your enemies. And the Lord above you is sure to please. How do I know? The Bible tells me so. <laughs> Did you bring Ginger home, Mr. Rogers? Not yet, but it won't be long now. Isn't it about your bedtime, Janie? Yes, sir. But maybe I'd better wait up for Daddy. He might want something to eat. Now, don't you worry about that, Janie. You just let us take care of everything. All right. Good night, Miss Dale. Good night, hon. Good night, Mr. Rogers. Good night, Janie. Roy, we can't let that little girl down. We've got to do something. It's Pat. Well, I found out about Horace Early and Jim Howard, and you won't like any part of it. Oh, I thought it was Daddy. No, it's only me. I was just going to say my prayers. Since the Lord has taken care of Daddy, do you think it would be too much to ask him to keep an eye on Ginger, too? Of course not, honey. The Lord takes care of all of his children. Including Ginger horses. Well, then... I'll just thank him for looking after everybody. The poor kid and her paw shut up in jail. Someone's coming. It's Horace Early. Come in. Oh, good evening. I didn't know there was anyone home except Janie. I'm Dale Evans, and this is Pat Brady. We're friends of Janie's. Well, then I can stop worrying about her. I, I just rode over to see how she was getting along. You, uh, you don't mind if I get a drink of water before I start back? 